after almost exactly a year, I'm returning to the mighty Madison River of Southwest Montana to spend two spectacular days fishing these storied waters. With cold and windy conditions in the forecast and mixed fishing reports swirling, I'm clueless on what to expect. But one thing I do know for sure, no matter what happens on the water, it's always a good day when you're fishing the Madison River. This is Parker Outside. West Yellowstone, Montana, y'all. Uh, we are up here for what promises to be a very special time. It's an exciting time for me because uh, not only we are we up here to get on some trout and have a bunch of fly fishing adventures, but I am celebrating 500 subscribers on this channel, um, which is just, it's just absolutely mind blowing, really. I uh, really never thought I'd get like past 100 subscribers when I started doing this. It was, you know, I figured it was really more to document what I was doing and the adventures I was going on and to encourage myself to get out of the, out of the house and go do stuff um, a lot during the pandemic and a little bit before that. But, uh, you know, and I figured, you know, better than photo albums, why not make a video? And uh, now there are 500 of y'all that are tuning in uh, time after time. Um, and are going on this journey with me and I just want to say thank you. If you all have ideas for videos that you want to see um, or you know feedback or comments or just anything um, you know I'm making these videos for y'all and I want to make sure y'all are seeing the content that you want to see and seeing the adventures you want to see and um, so yeah leave me a comment on a video if you've got an idea or some feedback or anything like that or you know if you follow me on Instagram I'm gonna put it right here um, at Parker outside shoot me a message uh, we can talk that way as well and um so anyway we are up in montana um gonna do some fly fishing in the rivers and outside of uh west yellowstone montana outside yellowstone national park and uh, the fishing reports have been mixed so um only time will tell if the fish are here and if they're biting uh we're gonna you know see where we can go and do some trout chasing and hopefully get in on some big trout but that's the goal and uh you know Either way, whatever happens, um, we're gonna go out and have a good time because any day is a good day out on the water, whether you catch a fish or not. But uh, it's always better if you catch a fish. So fingers crossed we're gonna get on some trout and uh, see what happens, but only time will tell. We're gonna have fun either way and go on an adventure. Good morning, y'all. We are on day one here. Um, we're gonna float, uh, we're gonna do something along the Madison River. I don't know, I'm just kind of along for the ride, but uh, we are along the Madison River. With the beautiful Montana background there, and uh, we're uh, gonna get on the river. Um, got, like I said, some mixed fishing reports, so only time will tell if we're gonna get into some big fish, but that's the goal anyway, so we're gonna get the waders on, and we're, uh, we're gonna get on the water.
Fishing has been pretty slow. Um, and, uh, you know, that is what it is. Uh, it definitely begs the question, like, with this being such a productive fishery, like, what, what's going on? Um, because it was not like this last year. And, uh, you know, we don't see anyone catching fish. There's tons of people fishing around us, and no one's catching fish. So, is it a slow day? My friend's been here for almost a week, and it's been a slow week, so this fishing season just starting late this year. Um, there's been some mismanagement of the water resources around here a little bit, too, so we're wondering if, um, in the last couple of years, so we're wondering if that's just going to be worse. We didn't quite manage the water right, now the fisheries are suffering a little bit. Not really sure. It's definitely a question. Could just be us, too, but uh, definitely doesn't seem like anyone else is catching fish, either. So, uh, yeah, I kind of have turned off the camera and quit vlogging with you and just like fish and pick something. I don't really Recording us just casting over and over again. That. So, anyway, we're gonna um, get some lunch and then kind of reassess for the day and see what's up next. But. We uh, came up above Hebgen Lake, and we are going to try a spot we haven't done before. See what we can find. Yep. Yep, keep on going. Oh, one more than that. We got another bite, another eat. So, uh, this one's on a little bit of water. I'm going to give it a turn in a big old, old honk and bang. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to find out what the next plan is and just uh, go from there. But I think we're uh, definitely coming towards the end of uh, this day of fishing, I guess. We'll see what happens. We got another one tomorrow, though, so we're not really yet. Today was a pretty slow day. Um, felt good to finish it off with a fish though. So I got one extra one in the net, but uh, yeah, only two fish and a couple, uh, couple eats, but yeah, the fishery is just not producing the same as it was last year for sure. And um, you know, that is what it is, you know, that's fishing. <laughs> so uh, it's still a beautiful place to fish and it's hard to be upset about it being slow when uh, you just have, you just look up and it's, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. Anywho, we're going to get some dinner and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. We are on day two. It's our last day fishing today, so we're uh, so we're gonna go fish somewhere. I haven't fished here before, but it's supposed to be pretty untouched because you gotta like take your boat across the river to wade. We're gonna wade like the opposite side from the road of this stretch of river, um, not too far down from Hebgen Lake here. Um, and who knows? Hopefully, with the uh, fact that it's not been fished before. Um, or it's not fish very often, we'll get some fish just there. 
Um, my buddy said he caught a couple fish there last time, but open is not quite as slow as it uh, as it was yesterday. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some breakfast and then uh, I'm gonna head down to the boat. Alrighty, so we have come actually down into Idaho. So we're gonna be fishing along the Henry's Fork of the Snake River. Um, we uh, got to the spot we were looking at on the Madison and the water was like just too high to uh, row across and uh, just moving too fast really to make it worth fishing. So we're gonna try out the Henry's Fork in Idaho instead and uh, do a little dry flying, see if we can uh, do a little sight casting. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be fun. Um, but I'm gonna throw some waders on and uh, get on the water. Here we go. So uh, we've been playing kind of a long waiting game. We're just waiting for the hatch to start. The idea basically is that once uh, right, it's a green drake hatch, I think, so mayflies kind of basically, um, big old mayflies. And so we're kind of waiting for the hatch to start. The idea being we don't want the fish to know we're here. So we're sitting up on the bank being quiet and um, watching for rises kind of, we're gonna sight cast again on fish, but the water's moving so slow that it's not really any point in fishing and letting them know we're here until the hatch starts, uh, which is what they're gonna be keyed in on. So, uh, yeah, we're just kind of playing a waiting game. But luckily the scenery is so beautiful that, um, I don't know, it's impossible to be bored, honestly. So, yeah. Gonna sit back down here and just, uh, we're almost there, we're almost ready. See that there's one guy who's fishing over here. We're just waiting for these clouds to go by and kind of the sun to come back out here. So anyway, got the Akaso Brave 7 on my head there. We're gonna get some video for you as well. So yeah, on to it. Madison uh, on another stretch here and uh, do a little more weight fishing here. There's stormy stuff rolling in behind me, but uh, we're gonna get some fishing in while we can and uh, hopefully uh, not get rained out too quick here and uh, see what we can get into here. So that's the plan.
coming to the end. We had a great, uh, great afternoon actually. It was about the most action we've seen so far. Um, had a really nice brown on I lost in a waterfall, but that one kind of hurt. But got another brown in the net, so that was cool. Got a brown in, uh, a couple rainbows. Um, GoPro died, so I uh, wasn't able to get the last like two fish in, but um, we did get a brown. I have some pictures and a rainbow as well. And so anyway, it's been a great day. Um, on the river, a little bit more uh, action than yesterday anyway, which felt good. And um, yeah, definitely begs the question, you know, what is going on? Is it the side effects of climate change? Uh, you know, with this cold, wet winter that they've had, cold, wet winter and spring, has it pushed back the, uh, the bite? Is it affecting the fisheries? Is it the water uh, conservation and water management? Um, districts and how they're managing the water. The, there's definitely something different about the fisheries this year than last year. I mean, we were here last year right after the flooding in Yellowstone and the fisheries, fisheries were supposed to be blown out. And even so, we were catching tons of fish. And this year, the conditions are supposedly way better and yet um, there are no fish. But more than anything, I'm just kind of excited that we got on some fish today and uh, just really appreciative to have had the chance to be out here fishing yet again. Um, Montana is absolutely beautiful and uh, always thankful when I get to go out and spend some time out in the woods and uh, getting some flies wet. Toss some bugs. Anyway, so i um, going to sign this one off here. going to head back to the ranch and uh, clean up, get some, get some dinner. Anyway, going to sign off here and we'll uh, see you all next time. Thanks for watching.